Mungu anapohanda nafasi kama hii aiandai kwa sababu ya maherufu ya watu inawezekana kwenye mkutano huu kuna mtu mmoja Mungu anatafuta anakwenda kusaidia mamilioni ya watu kwa hiyo we take every meeting with the seriousness it deserves Many of us were converted not when we thousands and millions some of us we accepted Jesus in the meetings of 10 people and from that time i have seen thousands of people accept jesus nakumbuka wakati mmoja nikubiri para kisi kwa stadium nikasema wale mnao mtaka yesu muandike kwenye kadi kwa mara ya kwanza watu wakaandika kwamba wanahitaji wokofu watu 3000 in a single day nikawaambia mimi sina mahali pa kuwapeleka tafadhali msije kanzani mwetu maana kanza letu lilikuwa ndogo sana I requested them to find the places to go. Na mimi natamka kwa mara ya kwanza kwamba hapa Kakamega watakuja watu wanamtafuta Yesu kwa kishindo kwa jina la Yesu. Sasa mnapitia kipindi cha kutafuta watu lakini kuna kipindi kinakuja wata watafuta. Kuna mtu mmoja alijaribu kuniroga. Akajaribu akaenda kwa gaganga pale Tanzania ananiroga na sikuwa na habari. Yeye ndiye alikuja kunielezea kwamba mzee aurogeki. <laughs> Ndivyo itakuwa watu wote. Kila mtu aliye hapa, you shall become impossible after this hour in the name of Jesus. If you are amen is the loudest you receive a quick manifestation of the miracles of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Iko wakati tuko tunaraka kwa street. Leo tunatoa watu kwa street. So don't worry. The gospel is a transformer. It changes things. The Bible says it lifts. And when the gospel lifts you, don't create a lift between your people. It lifts you to poor people. Jesus said when I'll be lifted, I'll draw all men unto myself. When the gospel lifts you, be a lifter. Don't be a rift. Listen to me man of God you invited me I saw the theme but let me allow me tell the people of God that is the gospel that liberates The Bible says in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is God's power and to salvation it says first to the Jews and to the Gentiles It is the gospel na hii injili ambayo mmekujia hapa sio hasara I've been on the pulpit I have seen poverty I have seen prosperity kuna wakati nilifungua account ya benki ikakaa miaka miwili inapokea shilingi 200 shilingi 100 siku moja mwaka 2015 wakati neema ilishuka pesa ikaingia kwa hiyo bank account hiyo ikafungwa E, e, account ilikuwa inajulikana historia yake ni ya 200 sasa historia ika change ghafla na kuna mtu historia yake ita change ghafla kwa jina la Yesu nikaitwa ni na manager hii dunia is not constant when god begins to change you he will do it take advantage of this moment that god will turn around your life if you believe shout yes is God is powerful is powerful you know god is the history changer ukiangalia maisha yangu pastor huyu ni wa nyumbani tumegrona yeye mimi hata kuja kisi nilikuja kwa mguu kilomita zote 35 kwa sababu ya kukosa na uri lakini wakati baraka ilianza nilinunua kila haina ya gari nilikuwa na Mercedes nikakuwa na V8 nikakuwa na VX nikakuwa na Prado nikakuwa na Manoa mpaka nikaziweka zingine sipeleka watu Nairobi ikafika mahali nikaona stack nikaanza kutembea kwa pikipiki kwa sababu nimechoka siko hapa unachoka kwa sababu if you are not careful god will surprise you and you will interrupt your own destiny don't allow your destiny to be interrupted be focused 